Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, whatever it is for you, welcome back to another Division 2 video. My name is Prime, it's Wednesday, we're gonna check out Cassie Mendoza, the secret gun runner in the game, for the last vendor of this vendor reset. So, let's have a look and see what she has in store for us this week. And there we are at Cassie, the designated hitter and a Night Watcher are for sale here again, but now only for in-game money, as you also can pick them up at the countdown vendor for countdown requisition points. Shield Splinterer, of course, comes with perfect optimus, but isn't really the best role out there. It's a little bit low, of course, with du 20 with project resolve that hopefully will be dropping next week the shield splinter will get a boost so make sure you have one already if you want to pick one up you could pick this up before the next update next week and then in my humble opinion roll a critical hit damage away for some damage you target out of cover and the rest to optimize gonna set you back a little bit but you're gonna enjoy yourself with the new buffs for this f2000 aka the shield splinter then over to the hunter killer and this comes with explosive resistance and weapon handling and of course perfect intimidate and i will just leave it here this is not worth it you're not looking for explosive resistance you're not looking on weapon handling especially not on a hunter killer if you do not see the shield splinter or if you do not see the hunter killer that means that you need to take out all the hunters that the game has to offer for the shield splinter take out all the year one hunters they will drop eight keys for you with those eight keys open up the box in white house after you open this box up the shield splinter will always be for sale at cassie mendoza with different roles every single week same for the hunter killer but now take out all the year two hunters these were the hunters that were introduced with warlocks of new york the expansion of the division two if you take them out eight keys will be dropped as well then go to Haven, open up a box. After you open this box up, the Hunter Killer will always be for sale at Cassie Mendoza. Same as for the Shield Splinter. So let's jump over to the backpack of Heartbreaker with armor and health on there. Chest of True Patriot, armor and hazard protection. Hardwired skill tier and skill haste on there. Knee pads of future initiative with skill tier and skill haste. Hotshot holster with 11.2% critical hit damage already on there. And only 9.8% weapon damage. So if you're still looking for a holster like this with that critical hit damage on there, pick it up, roll the weapon damage to the max cap, and you only have to optimize 0.8% for that critical hit damage. Then Mask of Foundry comes with headshot damage. I wish it was critical hit chance or critical hit damage. That could be nice. But overall, I will just leave it here. Enhanced PP19 comes with Steady Handed. The rest is a little bit too low to pick up in my opinion. Snub Nose Diceros comes with the Talent Finisher. Gloves of Fenris comes with Critical Hit Damage and Status Effects. Knee Pads of Araldi, Headshot Damage, Explosive Resistance. And then at last the two different mods. It will be 10.7% Skill Haste. And the last one 8.6% Reviver Armor Repair for your Revive Hive. And that's pretty much it for Cassie and the full Vendor Reset. If you didn't see the Vendor Reset yet, I will leave it on the screen right now so you can check it out. But overall, yesterday we had a few better buys. Of course, the apartment is back. The DZ exclusive SMG is back. So you can definitely pick that up in a normal vendor reset. And overall, I'm not too happy with Cassie. So let me know in the comments down below what you think about this. Should we change it to trashy Mendoza or should we keep it like the secret gun runner Cassie? I think this week she's trashy. Let me know in the comments down below. But that's pretty much it for me today. If you like the video or help you out in any way or form, make sure to like this video. And of course, if you're new here and you want to be updated about the Division 2, the Division Universe and the future Division 3, make sure to hit that subscribe button as well. And I will see you in the next one. Pure Prime out.